Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we'll explore an interesting topic, the best way to build full stack apps in 2023. We'll explore the various options available including no code, low code and full code solutions. So whether you're coming from a business background where you have absolutely no programming knowledge or whether you're coming from data science background where you have some knowledge of backend and Python or if you're from web development world with strong uh, JavaScript skills, we'll see what are the best options for us to build and launch full stack apps today. So back in 2018, when I started building SaaS, there were just two primary options. One is if you're not from a full stack web development background, then you had to find a co-founder who had full stack knowledge and partner with them. And the second way was basically, you know, go and raise money from VCs to bring in a full stack developer as a first employee, etc. So pretty much these were the two options available, get a full stack co-founder or go and hire a full stack developer by raising some initial capital from VCs. But uh, fast forward to today, technology has advanced to the point where, you know, builders can choose from a range of options, including no code, low code and full code solutions to create full stack apps. This means that regardless of the coding expertise, anyone can now build powerful and complex applications quickly and easily. Those who want to build full stack apps primarily fall into, you know, let's say four different camps. The first one is someone who absolutely has no programming knowledge, who comes from business or product management background, etc. The second camp is, you know, backend developers wanting to build full stack apps. Because if you have worked in software engineering space, you would be very aware of databases and other things that are related to the backend. But you have no clue about the front end tech. So that's camp two. And camp three basically are Python developers. So they have been dealing with data science or artificial intelligence or robotic stuff where they dealt with Python as their primary language. So they're not too deep in backend or front end. They just know Python very well. So third camp is basically Python developers wanting to build full stack apps. And the fourth camp is basically web developers who want to build full stack apps. So the first camp is essentially pure no code builders. And the second and third camps are essentially low code developers who can leverage low code and build full stack apps. And the fourth camp is basically pure full stack web developers. Now we'll see what are the options for available for all these folks who want to build full stack apps. So coming to camp one, if you have absolutely no programming knowledge whatsoever, the ideal way is to build a full stack app with a no code tool where I mean a no code tool that can abstract both front end and back end and just give a visual drag and drop interface. So my primary suggestion, suggestion for this is bubble.io. Bubble is the best way to build apps without code. You can build front end and back end interfaces completely without any coding skills. It is perhaps the best way to learn, you know, engineering abstractions, especially if you're coming from a non-coding background. And also with a strong community of Bubble developers and an active forum, you can always find answers or even tutorials on YouTube, etc. whenever you're stuck. So it has a really, you know, strong presence in the ecosystem in the no-code world. I built my app, question.ai, initially to $1,500 plus MRR, completely on Bubble. I'm a Python developer who didn't have any full stack skills. So I learned Bubble and created the first version of my app integrated with logins, payments, etc. I recently moved question to full code where I learned full stack technologies like JavaScript, React, etc. We'll discuss more on that later. So if you have absolutely no programming background whatsoever, Bubble is the best choice. Bubble is a visual programming tool where you can create complex uh, drag and drop interfaces, whatever logic that you want to create. You can connect different components and create that logic yourself. Now coming to camp two, where you have backend developers who would ben benefit from decoupling front end and back end and using a no code visual builder only for the front end. So all the building full stack apps with, you know, tools like bubble.io is a great choice starting out. Builders face a set of challenges as they scale further. One is as apps grow in user base and features, isolating the, you know, back end from front end is ideal from a team management perspective, as well as avoiding vendor lock-ins because 
when you build your app with bubble you don't get access to any of the underlying code everything is hosted with them and you need to move on to the you know higher enterprise plans as your user base grows so you cannot move out of bubble.io and host on your own when you scale so most people would love to have the <clears throat> option to export the code into react or view after a certain scale to have full flexibility in building complex features and this is where vweb and flutterflow come in so vweb.io and flutterflow are no code front end tools where you can connect with the back end tool like superbase which has authentication databases storages etc integrated and you can build beautiful front end interfaces using no code on top of the existing databases offering perfect back end and front end decoupling and the best thing is that you can export the code in standard javascript frameworks if you want to self host later when you hit scale i would recommend vweb for web apps and flutterflow for mobile apps although they are built to be applicable to both coming to superbase it's a perfect modern backend with you know database authentication api storage etc all built in and developers can use the superbase library in several languages like javascript python etc and build on top of it so if someone is coming from camp 2 that is they have good knowledge of the backend then vweb plus superbase or flutterflow plus superbase is a perfect combination because superbase is the backend that can be used in any combination even when you want to move to full code in the future now let's come to camp 3 which is essentially python developers who want to build full stack apps so traditional full stack development means mastery of you know mastery of front end languages like html css javascript and frameworks like react and view as well as back end languages like let's say node php ruby on rails etc but there's a good breed of developers with strong <coughs> python skills who are in data science ai, AI etc although there are frameworks like flask and django for python they are still hard and one needs to learn front end web development technologies for full stack mastery so there's an opportunity to empower python developers to build full stack apps so basically you give low code options to python developers to be able to build full stack apps and at the new age we have platforms like reflex.dev and anvil.works reflex was previously you know known as pinecon p y n e c o n e they just rebranded themselves to reflex.dev recently basically these platforms enable developers to build fully functional production full stack apps in pure python so front end back end and hosting everything in pure python that's what platforms like reflex and anvil promise and at the end of the day whether it is no code or low code just think of it as an abstraction over the standard javascript frameworks so even if you use reflex and build an app perhaps it's just an abstraction over next js and react and similarly no code tools like bubble are also an abstraction over javascript and html frameworks but for the end user who is building he or she can just leverage the abstraction and build on top of it also underneath camp 3 that is python developers there's a subset of python developers who just want to build internal machine learning and data science apps with uh, visual interactions for necessary stakeholders this is where streamlit.io and gradio app fall so basically if you want to build apps in pure python internal apps these are the tools that you can use there's no serious focus on authentication payments etc and the sole purpose is to build internal apps for these platforms now let's come to camp 4 which is essentially people who are building with full stack technologies that is html css javascript and associative frameworks i think my best suggestion today even for those who are building on javascript technologies is to use nextjs 13 which is a framework built on top of react you can use nextjs 13 as the framework with superbase as the backend we have discussed superbase previously it's a modern uh, backend with authentication data storage databases and everything built in so developing in nextjs 13 plus superbase and then deploying that on platforms like versal etc is an ideal modern tech stack we built our app uh, supermeme.ai and scaled it to almost 400k plus users using this exact tech stack 
of course building full stack app development could be done with other frameworks like django based on python or laravel based on php or then ruby on rails etc uh, you can use backend uh, like you know aws amazon web services or google firebase etc but my personal choice is nextjs 13 as framework with superbase as the backend so whether you're coming from a non tech background or programming background you have a wide range of options today to build and launch full stack apps if you want to completely go no code including both the front end and back end then you have bubble.io if you want to you know do no code front end then you have vweb or flutterflow and more other tools and if you want to take the pure python route i told you about reflex.dev and anvil.works and if you want to go the full stack route you have nextjs 13 plus superbase so these are the options and thanks for watching and that's all for this video